Hey there, and welcome back. Tomorrow is another Cars and Coffee event. Not the same one that I went to a couple weeks ago. This one is in a, another location, even further away, so it will take me well over an hour to get there. Let's look around, choose a car, and see if we can get it ready to go to the Cars and Coffee. We had some storms today. We have some thunderstorms tonight coming in. So I think I want to pick a car that has a roof. I also have to go pretty far, so I think I want to pick something that should be fairly reliable. And of course, I want to pick a car that I have not used too much on this channel. I've been thinking about this for a few days now. I was actually thinking, why not take the Austin Countryman Wagon? It's probably about time to get this car back out. People love seeing this thing. So I think this is going to be my choice for it tomorrow. We just need to check it out, make sure it still runs, check the fluids, check the tires, make sure it's all good. All right, under the bonnet, check the oil. That looks good. Let's check the master cylinders. Where they break and clutch. Clutch looks good. Looks like it could use a little bit in the brakes. It looks like this has silicone brake fluid in it. You never want to mix that with regular brake fluid. It does have these little tags letting someone know that there's silicone brake fluid in there. Let's check the radiator. That looks good. Now we just need to see if it'll start. This is one of my cars that I have replaced the battery with an ultra capacitor. It has sat here all winter, not plugged in with a tender or anything, but I don't think there's any current draw in this car. Let's see if the pump runs. Fuel pump's running. You can hear it's starting to grab some fuel. Now it got quieter because it's actually pumping fuel up to the carbs. Let's give it a second. Pull the choke out a little bit. Make sure we're in neutral. Let's give it a go. After I get it running, I also check, make sure it feels like the brake and clutch work. It does feel like they work. I think we're good to go. So I'll come back here in the morning when it's not raining and get the car. It's the morning of the event now. I'm just filling up. I am using no ethanol fuel, of course. It is a gorgeous day today. There might be a slight chance of rain, but I'm excited to hit the road because it's going to be a nice drive. see anything out of my wing mirror so I wonder if I can reach in there and adjust it from here well that's a little bit better looks like it needs tightened down on the fender itself This car has always been a great running car for me, but I do need to, in the future, do some work on the brakes. When I hit the brakes, it will turn to one side a little bit. I don't think you could ask for a better day. Nobody out on the roads. The weather is nice and cool. Even the car is staying nice and cool. why I like coming to these events. It gives you a chance to get the car out on the road, go for a little drive. This is even better than any of the cars that I'm going to see there. So that's why I go to these events, get the cars out. So 
took a little different route today and I'm glad I did because these are the perfect roads for a mini. This is great. Weather's perfect. Sun's just coming out from the clouds now. I guess this is it here at the Starbucks. Let's walk around and see what's here. Really nice 59 GMC. It's been modernized a little bit though. Not even. We have an American Bantam and an E-Type with a Chevy V8. Nice Corvette here. Four speed too, Dad. Got some Chevrolets. Beautiful Cadillac. This is a Chevrolet love truck. That we've got looks like someone's track toy. Chevrolet Camaro. Got a Challenger. A crazy Pinto wagon. Next to that, a Judge. Got my wagon down here. That Datsun Z next to it. Here's a front wheel drive Oldsmobile Tornado. And this is an 84 Shelby GT350. Not a lot of people know that the Shelbys were still made in the 80s. Not just the 60s and the early 70s. Probably doesn't get any more American than this. It's a really nice Defender. This one is left-hand drive. There's a custom bug. Porsche 944. We've got a slew of Vipers all here in a row. We've got a first edition Amira. The paint on this is pretty crazy. It's got this gold flake in it. It almost doesn't look black. It almost looks dark blue. Got a Cobra kit car. A couple old Land Cruisers. I think the red one is one that I saw at uh, one of the last events that I was at. These are cool. I would definitely own one of these sometime. I did have the chance to own a really nice one. Unfortunately, let a friend buy it instead. This is pretty cool, an old Toyota Corolla. Another GTO. Got a Volkswagen dune buggy. You may not know this, but I have a Miata this color, just like this. Here in the United States, people call these Smurfs. This one looks pretty nice. Now we've got a Triumph TR3. Looks like there's a lot of interest in it. I don't 
a nice little Alfa Romeo here. Surprisingly, the first Scout that I've seen at the show. This is a Scout 800, so this would have been available with a V8. Earlier Scouts only came with four cylinders. And here is what is badged as a Holden, but we did not get these in the United States. So this is either a rebadged car, which is what I'm guessing it is. Yeah, it looks like it's a Chevrolet SS that somebody has stuck some Holden badges on. Okay, I just had to show you the Subaru, because look at this crazy air filter. Got some Monte Carlos. This is a beautiful old Packard. It's really nice to see these things come out. Someone with a primrose yellow MGB is showing up next to me. Colors look great together. There's a great old Cadillac limousine. This one has a flathead V8. I think that's about it for the show. Let's hit the road and get back. That was a pretty good show. A lot of interesting things there. A good variety of cars. I was happy with the amount of vintage cars and interesting cars that showed up this time. Again, this is a beautiful day. It's not too hot, not too cold. I don't even have the rear windows open with just the front sliding windows. It's staying really comfortable in here. Another feature I like about these old minis is the turn signal. It flashes on the stock when you turn it on. I'm almost back now, and I really enjoy these events. These are happen all over the world. You wake up early, you go for a little drive, then you hang out with like-minded car enthusiasts, and it doesn't take up your whole day like a normal car show. You still have the rest of the day to get done what you need to do. So that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see more videos like this, comment below and let me know.